A lot of clever people have done sophisticated things with Macro Scheduler, but it can be very handy even if you know nothing about programming. In fact, even if you're an impatient idiot like me. Let's start by finding the program in the system tray down here. Open her up. You have some sample macros here um, when you start out. Here's some of mine. We'll go over here and start a new one. Okay, you've got this beautiful clean slate. And all this stuff on the left, it's almost like there's a voice there whispering, Go away! This is for programmers. This is for people even nerdier than you. Well, don't listen. Many of these categories are well beyond my non-technical brain, but quite a few of them are in plain English. This one, Keyboard Commands, has two of the very common ones, Press and Send Text. You can just type them yourself over here, but there are a lot of helpful wizards hiding behind the commands on the left. What I want from this macro is very simple. Just type a username and a password. Now here's the diabolical username, which I'm actually pasting in. We can ignore these options and click Insert, and there it is in the script. Now I want to press the Tab key to make the cursor jump from the username entry to the password. So I'm going back here for the Press command. And as you can see on this drop-down list, for anything on your keyboard that's not a text character, you use this Press command. Now we'll put in the password. When you type in commands yourself, there are shorter versions you can use, so I'm just typing send instead of send text, and it does the same thing. Let's save our little script, give it a name, and let's assign it to a hotkey. So the combination of Control, Alt, and A will run this script. So, why would I want to go to this trouble when I can get my browser to save my name and my password? In this case, it's because I have two accounts, and the site only lets me access them one at a time. So my browser doesn't deal with that very well, and I find myself needing to switch in and out of accounts routinely. So, this macro, simple as it is, ends up saving me hundreds or even thousands of keystrokes. Of course, we could automate more of this process. For one thing, I have to be on the library site with the cursor in the right spot before I start running this macro. But the best advice I can give you about Macro Scheduler is to think small. And when you do get to writing longer scripts, you'll want to go a few steps at a time testing as you go. Have fun, and now I better go change that password, right?